not, it's not about you, turn around. It's my channel. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That's Like The Vegan with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly. Today we're gonna make vegan crabbies, two ways. Let's get started. Grab your favorite cheddar cheese. I'm using Daya Cutting Board Series. You need one cup. Now I'm gonna grab some Earth Balance Butter. You're gonna see me put in three tablespoons, but it's probably more like four because they were very heaping. Now I'm taking Kite Hill Cream Cheese. I'm putting in two heaping tablespoons as well. Now first I'm gonna use artichokes for my seafood guys, and then later on in the video I'm gonna use lobster mushrooms, but I'm pretty much only using about half of this jar. You do need to drain, but not rinse the artichokes. You don't really need the extra liquid. And I'm just kind of giving them a rough chop like crab meat. If you guys have seen my crab cake video, it's pretty much the same. Now I'm going to season with some Tony Saturies and some garlic powder. Bloop, 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 yes. Remember this is not that salty with the garlic powder, so I went heavy handed. Now I'm gonna add it to the mixture and we're going to mix yes now i have never had cheesy and seafood together y'all so i was very very skeptical of this recipe but oh baby it was so good now i'm taking some sourdough english muffins please make sure they are vegan kroger is pretty good when it comes to vegan bread selections in their bread aisle um and fyi i i just noticed a lot of people don't know this but kroger goes by other names as well i've personally been to a harris teeter which is also kroger and i've also been to ralph's they have many more just kind of check what your state might call them i should have said this earlier but you're going to preheat your oven to 400 you're going to now add in some smoked paprika after spreading on the mixture to each English muffin and you're going to bake for 15 minutes as my artichoke muffins were in the oven now we're gonna get these lobster mushrooms I got these from Amazon they took about a week to come so me being a prime member did not matter okay <laughs> I had boiling water ready to go and at first I put them in for only about 15 minutes nothing happened and turned out they were still very very tough after 15 minutes so I decided to leave them in for a full hour. All right, y'all, I know I look a hot mess, but I'm at work. I'm super excited. It smells so good. I think the paprika is really what set it off. Focus on the food, not my face. Boom. I think the smoked paprika really, like, because I can smell it. I can actually smell the smoked paprika. This is super hot. Now, on the original TikTok, she sliced it and dipped it in hot sauce, but let's taste it by itself right now, okay? That was harder than what I thought. Okay, my bad. Wow, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I thought this was gonna be like, okay, it's amazing. <laughs> like, this is a really good appetizer. Wow, I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit more. This is really, I mean the cheese, cause I was like, cheddar cheese with seafood? No, but now I see y'all who be eating that um seafood mac and cheese, I didn't get it. I kinda get it now, but baby you can't. You're not old enough yet. I only picked you up because Coco Melon was on and I had to turn it off so I wouldn't get copyrighted. Life is not fair. Mm. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the lobster mushrooms, uh, same little mixture. And now I'm chopping up the lobster mushrooms very, very fine. They were still a little tough, even after leaving them in hot water for an hour. Halfway through y'all, I did turn the water back on to boiling, just FYI. But they, the whole time they were definitely in hot water. Um, so I chopped them up as fine as possible. Same thing, Tony's garlic powder mix and bake. Okay guys, I let everything cool. Here they are. Okay, I'm so excited. Mmm. Okay. Honestly, it doesn't taste any different than the artichokes. It looks different. 
And obviously I can charge more if people want the lobster, but it tastes the same to me. I do like the fact that, um, remember I told you these were still a little chewy? I like that. It gives it more texture. So I'll, that's actually a good thing in my mind in this recipe because it has that, that meaty texture to it. Um, but it tastes the same. Like you can use the artichokes, no problem. Do not. If you don't want to spend extra money on the lobster mushrooms, don't. It's so good. Okay, y'all. So it is the next day. Obviously, I shot the intro the next day. But what, um, I wanted to try the same mixture. Here's the leftovers. Um, I wanted to try it with a bell pepper as well. So I cut a red bell pepper in half and I roasted it. And I'm going to stuff it and we're going to put the mixture inside of there. I just want to see if it's going to work. I just got to see if it's going to work. But I'm, I'm trying to be lower on the gluten intake, okay? Um, therefore, I want to see if this works in something else. Okay, guys, the peppers are done. I'm super nervous. Here we go. It's good on bread, but remember this has butter. Okay, let me stop talking. Okay, okay. It's actually not bad, but it's not as good as bread because it's like, it's soft on soft. Hold on, let me get kinks in. But it's, um, you know, soft cheesy gooeyness with soft gooeyness of a pepper that's been roasted. So not ideal. But it is good. It's good. Y'all, I just I just thought about it. I got it. It needs rice. It needs rice. That would set it off. So if you do this in a pepper, rice, and then the cheesy mixture. I think that'll be really good. Put rice down first and then put the cheesy mixture on top. Don't know what you would call it. Delicious. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time. Peace. You gonna do it? You gonna do it? You, you, you're not gonna do it.